Akosha Kids Uganda headquarters, um, just within the municipality here in Gulu. And each day, 122 ladies come and and work, and they're crocheting hats that are sold all over the world now. And when we tell them that, they become ecstatic because they take so much pride in their work. We started with 10 ladies and we bring yarn over from the US. We'd have them in these little skeins. Uh, but now we're importing all of our yarn where we have four tons of yarn in storage right now. Um, so it starts with this yarn. We, we design the hats, we, we take the yarn and we give the ladies a certain amount of hats to make each week. Um, and from that, we derive a weight for each group. Um, so each, each of our seven production groups typically has a unique style and a unique color um, of hats to make. So on Mondays, we weigh yarn. We, we post sheets saying what, what hat each lady is making. Uh, and we put the yarn out. And on Monday mornings, the ladies grab their baskets. They, they check and see which hats they'll make for the week grab the yarn. So the ladies grab their baskets, they grab the yarn, um, and they get to work. And each of the seven groups has a leader. Each of those seven started as um, just one of our co-shares and they've risen up into these positions of leadership where they're not only maintaining quality of hats, but they're also maintaining the quality of their groups and their relationships within their groups and uh, really forming a um, sweet community that way. And then on Wednesdays and Fridays, um, the group leaders take the hats for their group into our quality control interns. Um, our quality control interns check the hats um, and then another quality intern checks the hats again, so we have two levels of quality right off the bat. Then once the hat's approved, it's sent to our tailors, and our tailors sew on our, our label. So different crochet kids labels for each, each style of the hat, or ties, or scarves, or what have you. After that, they're passed on to our operations assistants who check all the labels for quality. Uh, they fix a hang tag um, on each of the hats. They fold the hat nicely for presentation, seal it in a plastic bag, we cardboard box everything, load it on a truck, take it to Kampala, put it on a plane, three, three to four days it reaches LA, and it's delivered to our warehouse in Costa Mesa, unboxed, reboxed, and sent to someone's house or what have you. But we've created systems. Um, and to get our, get our hats at a level of quality that rivals um, public companies, big companies are selling hats all over the world. And we are here in rural <laughs> northern Uganda at a compound and each day 122 ladies come and they work hard and they make products that um, rival those made in factories all over the world by machines or or however they're making their hats, but we know here that we know the lady that made it and we know that when she fixes her name to that hat, she takes pride in it and she um, knows that she's providing for her family when she signs that name. And they realize that when they sign their name to that, that carries their reputation, it carries their art, and it carries their story around the world. And that's one of our favorite parts about producing um, here because the ladies do um, love what they do and they love to, they love that people know that they make the 